Welcome to the Black Star Media One YouTube channel. In this episode, I will discuss the most iconic of all the Berber peoples of the Maghreb region of North Africa, the Tuareg. But before I begin, please subscribe and hit notify. As many of you will know, the Berber clans of North Africa were black and were the original inhabitants of the region before the Arabization and the multiple invasions and settlements of Asiatic and European groups. I discussed this in a previous video. Multiple reports from antiquity unequivocally describe the Berbers as black. The Tuareg form part of the people we call the Berbers. The Berbers were an appellation. They have attributed the name of the Berbers, that is, étranger to the culture or the civilization of the Greco-Roman. The Berbers are known since the antiquity. For example, if you take the Greek Herodot, the historian Greek Herodot, he has really, through his territory of Danois, he has identified all the tribes toutes les factions libico-berbères qui se situaient de l'Égypte aux îles Canaries. The Tuareg, according to their history, were led out of the Tafilalt region of Morocco by their founding queen, Tin Henan, in the 4th century. Steadily, the semi-nomadic people spreads across the Maghreb region, creating many Trans-Saharan trade routes for which they became famous. They became known as the Blue Men due to the indigo dyed robes they adorned their bodies with. Which makes them quite distinct and eye catching. Truly a diverse and culturally rich people, the Tuareg are fiercely independent. The advent of French colonialism drove the Tuareg to war in order to preserve their self-determination and way of life. After multiple massacres on both sides, the Tuareg were defeated and forced to sign peace treaties in Niger in 1917, Mali in 1905. <laughs> Et ça crée souvent des tensions entre des populations sédentaires, entre aussi euh, d'autres États, euh, avec par exemple euh, la gendarmerie, les problèmes de douane, des pièces d'identité, qui en réalité euh, ne sont pas plus ou moins des monnaies courantes dans le désert, qui n'ont aucune valeur en tout cas pour le Touareg, qui de tout temps a traversé en tout cas de part et d'autre euh, le Sahara, du Maghreb jusqu'au au, au bord du fleuve Niger. Et un jour on nous dit, bon, Tuareg society has suffered greatly due to the colonial powers dividing North Africa into countries with borders that restrict the nomadic nature of Tuareg culture. The total Tuareg population currently in the Maghreb is estimated to be as high as 4 million people spread over the countries of Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Nigeria and Libya. Thank you for watching.